Joining me today, former First Secretary of State and Boris Johnson supporter Damien Green, Shadow Health Secretary Jonathan Ashworth, The Evening Standard Sophie Jarvis and Anoush Chakalian of The New Statesman. BBC Social Affairs correspondent. Um, Alison, you spent almost a year filming with Somerset County Council for the Panorama programme, Crisis in Care. Welcome. Um, what did you find? Uh, a system under massive <coughs> pressure. We tried to follow decisions all the way through, so we looked at the cuts to the adult social care system that were being made and tried to look at the consequences of those for the people who needed care. And I think it's fair to say that... Uh, Generally speaking, the pain of those decisions isn't seen because it is by its nature behind closed doors. And uh, what we were able to do over time was see the difficulties, the very real difficulties that families were facing. So a lot of the families, all of the families that we followed, were trying to do their best. They were caring for people in difficult circumstances, whether it was dementia or an adult with um, long-term disabilities, a working age adult but they needed help and they weren't getting the level of help they needed. Well, let's have a look at an excerpt from one of the films you made, uh, which viewers can see in full on BBC iPlayer. I think we've got some, some really difficult decisions and discussions ahead of us. We have a plan coming together. I think there'll be some difficult decisions. And we're trying to sort it from our end, but there's still lots of things that the government need to do to help us. There's some things where they could really ease our pain. Can you lift your arm up for me? And not up there. That's it. Well done. And this has Why a toll on me. We're not going anywhere. We're staying here. We're going to get showered. Mentally and physically. Will you take me, please? I'm, help ah! I'm helping you. Come on. No, you're strangling me. My emotions of Stratfield House closing, anger, disappointment, that we're not getting that support, Closing the places down, it's, it's just not on. Damien, watching that, why is social care not front and centre of the Boris Johnson leadership campaign? Well, uh, I think it's because Brexit is front and centre of our political debate. Uh, we haven't had the political space to get on to what was, you know, was, we all know is happening. And, and Alison's films uh, revealed very, very starkly. Um, I think it's absolutely uh, an urgent priority pamphlet, um, I, I believe you said you, that you suggested, you, you accepted that you, you'd have to increase taxes. So where does that tax come from? Does it come from the younger generations who haven't enjoyed stable jobs, affordable housing and a consistently increasing paycheck? Or does it come from the, um, the old people who are, who are, who are getting I, older? I, I, I think that's, that, no that's the central in. point, because if you just put it on general taxation, then because of, of the demographic bulge of, if you like, baby boomers who are now entering that age, all the burden of their care and the care, the future care of people who are currently working age would fall on the current working age population. That would be unfair. What, I mean, I made various suggestions. The one that was, that was most controversial and, and most hated by people, so I'll bring that up in a slightly uh, self-flagellating <laughs> way, yeah. um, uh, was the idea of having uh, an extra uh, national insurance payment, but only for those over the age of 40. It's actually the sort of, it's what they do in, in Germany. This is a sector which uh, I think is a broken model, really. It's had about £7 billion worth of cuts uh, uh, since, the, uh, since, the, since the Tories got in, but it's, it's, a, it's a sector which relies on low pay, and there's 110,000 vacancies across the sector. And it's a sector which has been sort of privatised over 30 years. If you go back to 1979, around 65% of uh, uh, residential care beds were provided by local authorities. Now it's just 6%. So I think, yes, we've got to have a debate about what is the obligations on the state, what the right level of taxation is to pay for it. But I also think we've got to have a debate about the whole model and delivery of social care. I don't think this privatised model has worked. Adult social care and how it links into the health service, and we're seeing the impact of yeah. that, is an area that... Is, there is the room for the big ideas. Yeah. Well, we've talked about uh, setting up a national care service, and we would we would put in an extra eight billion pounds in social care over just, Parliament. The seven point seven billion has been lost since. Uh, yeah, 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 According yes. to direct that, that is, social that, care, that's since an initial input to stabilise it, if you like. The, the biggest pressure, according to directors of adult social services, facing the care system is the growth in working age adults yes. who need complex packages of care. So it's not as straightforward yes, as a generational right. shift. The money needs to come nationally rather than locally. I think taking it out of council tax and local authorities actually is putting so much of a burden on local authorities that they'll be less and less able to fulfil the functions we all want them to do.
find amazing is that it's down to sort of Damien writing a paper when you're no longer in your position in government and us having this discussion here on a television programme when actually it's down to the government delaying their green paper on funding adult social care for now two years. It was announced in the budget in 2017. It was in the manifesto. Um, and now it's summer 2019 and it still hasn't come out. It was due to come out in summer 2017. So it's all very good saying this should be the priority of the next mm -hmm. prime minister. But it clearly isn't, is it? If, if a government introduces something, then the next government has to implement it. That's what happened with auto-enrolment of pensions. Yes, it was an idea yes. that came out under the Blair government, implemented by the coalition government. That's the sort of thing I want to see.